Hello everybody, Andrea Tereski here. So you might have a question, how, how, how often should you offer a sale on your LipSense products? Now, I have been a business coach for about five years now, so I do know a little bit about this. I'm not saying that I'm the expert, but I do kind of know what a customer likes to see and what they don't necessarily like to see and what makes them want to buy and what doesn't. Now, always think of yourself as the customer. Um, a perfect example in Canada, we have a store here called Bath and Body Works that sells amazing candles, that smells amazing, I love them. But they have sales all the time. So myself, as a customer, I'm not going to ever buy a candle at the regular price because I know they will go on sale a week or two or three later, so I will just wait. And I've been, sh I've been shopping there for such a long time that I know what's a good sale and what's not a good sale. The buy three, get three free, to me, isn't a good sale. Buy one, get one free, I love that. So I will just hold off for that sale because do I want six candles? Not necessarily. I want two candles, but I can buy one and get the other one for free. So it's the same thing with your lip scents. If you're holding a sale once a month, people are only going to buy at that time, especially if they're part of your page. They look at your posts every day, which is amazing, but they kind of know when you're going to have a sale and when you're not going to have a sale. So they would rather just wait until things go on sale. And there's also those customers that get annoyed if they purchase something from you and then a day later you say you're having a sale right so try to not have them too often now for myself though I like to offer things um, like that so I do offer um, sales but I have only offered a sale when I first started with the company so I called it like a launching you know sale like I'm part of this new amazing business I'm going to have a sale for first-time customers um, Another sale I did, shoot, isn't that funny? I can't remember, but it was probably something like, oh, it's now springtime, I'm having a spring sale. But I don't make the sales like buy one, get one, because I'm pretty much losing money in that case. The sales that I will have are say 10% or no tax for today only, so that they feel that they have to buy. And I will do that if I have a lot of stock and I want to buy more stock, but I don't necessarily have the time to go out and do as many parties that week per se, right? In fact, I do have a sale going on right now where um, I worded it such as I am having an end of season sale. Um, all of my um, colors are on sale, I'm 10% off. Um, and save on the tax, I believe. So they all save on the tax for all of the products, but if they buy three or more colors, um, they get an additional 10% off. So yes, that's a big sale, but I'm doing that because this month has been crazy and next month will actually be crazy because we're in the process of selling the house. Um, and as I mentioned, I'm a business coach and I actually got about 10 new clients. So I kind of have to focus on that a little bit. Um, I do do lip sense on the side, but most weeks I make more money doing that, but it's just, I'm getting very, very busy lately. So I kind of have to do something else, right? So I won't have time to go out and host a lot of parties, but I want to get people interested in buying the products, right? Especially for new customers. I find for new customers, they won't buy unless there's some kind of sale. So I do tend to offer no tax for new customers only. So then that way they kind of have an idea because I know once they try the product, they will love it. So, but I mean, it's totally up to you, but just keep in mind, every time you have a sale, you're losing a little bit of money. But on the other hand, keep in mind that anytime you have a sale, you could be bringing in new customers. You are making your current customers happy to have them save a little bit of money. And 10%, you guys, is like nothing. That's like $3 in some cases. So I would rather get a new customer, sell a whole, say, starter kit, and pay a little bit less, or I should say make a little bit less, 
and they're happy and I'm happy. But just don't have sales too often because then the customers will only wait for that sale and you are losing money. But having that said, you guys, always make sure to purchase your LipSense products at half off. So then that way you make a 50% commission. So that way, let's say you do have a sale for 10% off your products, you're still making a good commission, the 40% you know, um, commission, right? Because if you have a 10% sale, you're no longer technically making a, um, a 50% commission, you're making a 40% because of your 10% off sale. But if you're only ordering enough of the lip sense to get the 20% off discount, then you're only making like a 10% commission if you have a 10% sale. So I hope I didn't just confuse people by saying that. Um, so let me know if you are confused, but that's another reason why it's so important to always order enough to get the 50% off. So if you do have a sale, you're still making an amazing commission from that. So if you guys need help, please let me know and I'll see you guys in the next video.